Hi, my name is Dwayne Crawford, and I'm the Fiber Product Line Manager at Belden. In this video, we're going to talk about preparing jacketed fiber for installation into the Brilliance Universal Connector. So, we're going to prepare uh, fiber for jacketed installation into the Brilliance Connector. My first step is to install the appropriate boot. Today, I'm working with two millimeter interconnect cable, so I want to make sure I select the two millimeter boot. These are sold separately from the Brilliance Connectors. I'm going to slide that on as a first step. Don't worry, if we do forget the boot, because the Brilliance connector doesn't use a destructive crimp in the install process, we can always take the connector back off and re-terminate it after we've added the boot to the cable without a problem. So the first step I have after I've put the boot on is I'm going to open my installation instructions, which are included in the inside flap of the packaging. I'm then going to use the little quick reference diagram that's included and I'm going to mark my fiber at point A and point B using my pen. Once I've marked my fiber, I'm now going to take my strippers using the big notch and I'm going to strip the point A. Okay? So, now we're going to take the Kevlar from point A and we're going to twist it and use our Kevlar shears to snip it off, being careful not to cut the fiber in the process. Once we've done that, we can then take our strippers again and we can strip the fiber back down to point B. Once we've stripped the fiber to point B, we're going to go back to our install card and take our marker. We're going to align the jacket up to point E and we're going to mark both points C and D at this time. Again, I'm going to just wrap the fiber around my finger at this point. What we have to be careful about with jacketed fiber is that the 900 micron fiber that's inside the jacket, it's going to float inside that jacket a little bit and it moves in and out and that's what we call pistoning and we want to be very careful that at this point we're controlling the pistoning. We don't want that fiber to move in and out too much. So from now on I'm going to keep that fiber wrapped around my finger nice and tight so it doesn't allow those to, the jacket and the fiber to move. I'm going to then take my strippers and I'm going to use the middle teeth and I'm going to in strip small pieces of the, the buffer off and I'm going to strip it back to point C. I can then use the small hole in my stripper and I can remove the primary coating off the glass. What you're going to see is a little bit of white residue comes off as we do that. That is what we're looking to get. While we're doing this, we have to be careful that we keep the stripper perpendicular to the glass. We don't want to strip it on an angle. That'll actually damage the fiber and cause breaks later. Once we've done that, we're going to take the alcohol wipe that's included in our kit and we're going to clean the glass. What you'll notice is that takes off the rest of the primary coating and what you'll get is a nice squeaky clean sound and we'll know that the primary coating has all been removed. And that's how we prepare jacketed fiber for installation into the Brilliance Universal Connector. Be sure to check out our next video which covers cleaving jacketed fiber for installation into the Brilliance Universal Connector.